let us try to find the remainder in the following cases given here. In the first case, since we are asked to find the remainder, let us try to find the individual remainders here. Then I'll divide the given numbers by 14 and let us multiply them. So for A, for A, this will be equal to 1021 by 14, remainder in this case, multiplied by 2021 divided by 14, remainder in this case, multiplied by 3021 divided by 14 and the remainder in this case. So let us try to divide them. So when 1021 is divided by 14, now let us multiply 14 with a 7. So 7 4s are 28, 2, 7 on the 7 and 9, 98. I'll subtract them, I'll get 4 here and 1 here. Now 14 3s are, 4 3s are 12, 1, 3 ones are 3 and 4, 42. So I cannot do this, let me multiply this with a 2. So this is equal to 28, the remainder here will be 3 and 1, 13. So this will give me 13 as my remainder. Let me divide 2, 0, 2, 1 with 14. 14, 1, 14, I'll have 6 here and 2 here. Let me multiply this with a 3. 14 times 3, 4, 3 is a 12. 3, 1 is a 3 and 4, 42. Or let me multiply this with a, let me multiply this with a 4. 4, 4 is a 16, 1, 4, 1 is a 4 and 5. So I'll have a 6 and 1 here. So I'll again multiply this with a 4. So I'll have 56 and 5 as my remainder. So this will give me, 5 as my remainder. If I divide 3, 0, 2, 1, 3, 0, 2, 1 with 14, so 14, 2s are 28, 2, 2, 14, 1s are 14, I'll have 8 here and 1 here. Let me multiply this with a 5, so 5, 4s are 20, 2, 5, 1 6, 7. So this will leave me 1 and 1, 11 as my remainder here. So this will give me 11 as my remainder. So this will be equal to the product of 13 times 5 times 11, whole thing divided by 14 and now I'll try to find the remainder here. So now let me multiply them. So this is equal to 13 fives are 65 multiplied by 11, whole divided by 14, I need to find the remainder. Now let us again apply the concept of basic remainder theorem. So this will be equal to 65 upon 14 remainder for that, multiplied by 11 upon 14 remainder for that. Remainder in this case will be 14 fours are 56. So this will be nine multiplied by 11 with the remainder that I need to calculate now. So this is equal to 99 upon 14 and I need the remainder now. So let me do that. So if I divide 99 with a 14, I'll have 7 fours are 28 to 98, 1. So I'll have 1 as my remainder finally. Now this process will become much easier if I'll introduce you to the concept of negative remainders which I'll do in next video. But as of now, using the concept of basic remainder theorem, though that this looks like a cumbersome process, but still I think we got the concept of how we can find the remainder in case of individual numbers. Now let us try to do the second problem here. In this, we have to find the individual remainders for this one. We have to find the individual remainders in case of this one. Once we have both the remainders, we can just add them up. So this will be equal to when I'll divide 37 with a 7, I'll get a remainder of 2 because 35 is in the table, 2 will be left. Here I'll have 7, 6 of 42, so I'll have 1 as my remainder. Here I have 7, 7 of 49, so I'll have 2 as my remainder. So 2, 2 is a 4 and 4 times 1 is 4. So this thing will give me 4 as my remainder here. Here if I'll check it out, so 7, if I'll divide 137 with 7, so 7 ones are 7, this will be 6, 7, 7 nines are 63, I'll have 4 as my remainder here multiplied by, this will give me 140 is divisible by 7, so this will give me 3 as my remainder and here I'll have, if I'll divide 151, 151 with a 7, 7 to the 14, 1, 1, 7, 1 is a 7, and I'll have here 4 as my remainder once again. So this thing all together will give me 4, 4 is a 16, 16, 3 is a 48. And I have to divide this with a 7 to get my remainder here. 
Now I know that remainder seven six are forty two, so this will give me six as my remainder. So I'll have four plus six. I'll be left out with ten. But ten cannot be the remainder because ten is still greater than seven. So what I'll do here, I'll just divide this ten once again with seven and try to find the remainder here. So my final remainder will be three in the second case.